Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh, an easy way to find the exact values of uh, trigonometric functions like cosine, sine, and tangent. Well, of certain certain degrees like uh, certain degrees like zero, thirty, forty-five. The most commonly used ones in trigonomet trigonometry. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys because. Uh, I know you guys have to memorize them, but you don't really have to memorize them. If you just learn the format of this chart, it should be pretty easy, and you will never have to memorize these these exact values. Uh, so basically, the chart is like this: you start off um, with sine, and then right below, cosine. Then you do a giant square root. And you put the values, the most commonly used values in trig for these functions. It should be 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. This, will, this is going to teach you guys how to find the exact values without having to memorize anything. And these are degrees, of course. Um, then you, after sign, you increment from 0 to 4 in increments of 1. So you start in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Make sure you guys align them so it could be clear. And for cosine, you do the same but in reverse. So you start with the 4 and you decrease 2, 1, 0. I'm sure if you guys are taking a test or something, you guys could write this on the, like on the scratch paper or something. And that way you could just co come back and check from there. And then you're gonna set everything to something divided, everything divided by two. And this is basically the chart that will help you guys do the, well, not really memorize, but learn how to find the exact values of these angles for sine, cosine, and I'll show you guys at the end for tangent. Um, okay, so let's do an example. Uh, if we want, if we want to find sine of Let's say 30, sine of 30 is going to equal to, you're going to go to the first, you're going to go to sine, the line of sine, uh, you're going to go to the line of sine, you're going to go right below the 30, which is 1, 1, and then you square root, you square root it, the, what, you square root it, so, Then you do you do the division by two, two. So since square root of one is just one, and two is just two, sine of thirty is gonna equal to one half. And we could check this on the calculator. Sine of one half. Wait, no, 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 not one half. Sine of thirty is gonna equal. One half. Uh, let's try an, an example with cosine now. Um, let's say cosine of uh, forty-five. I don't know. Any anyone would work forty-five equals. You go to cosine. You go to cosine. You go to the forty-five. Two. So two. You do the square root, square root of divided by two and divided by two, divided by two. So cosine forty-five would be square root of two divided by two. Well, this will actually be the answer. And we could check in the calculator. Cosine of forty-five is going to equal square root of two over two. Okay, so let's say you guys want to find tangent. So, we know that sine over cosine is going to equal tangent. So then, we wanted to find tangent of a certain degree, we just have to find the sine of that degree and the cosine of that degree. As an example, suppose we want to find the tangent of um, something you haven't done, 60. We want to find tangent of 60. So first we have to go to... Do the sine of 60. So sine 
of 60 is going to equal sine of 60 square root of 3 over 2. And cosine of 60, cosine of 60, square root of 1 over 2, which is just 1 half. And since we know this relationship between sine, cosine, and tangent, we'll just divide these two values. Basically, this would be square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. Since we know how to divide fractions, we know that if we just do the reciprocal of this, we can multiply the first value. So it would be square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. This would give us 2 square root of 3 over 2. Then the 2 just cancels with each other and we're left with square root of 3. And we could verify this on the calculator. Tangent of 60 square root of 3. It's that simple. No memorizing, just learning a simple chart with basic numbers and a 2 and of course the most used values in trig trigonometry. And... That's basically it for this video. Bye.